I just received my brand new bamboo P1P and thought I should make another unboxing video because there aren't enough of them out there on the internet already. Not. Let's get printing. So we're just doing the first calibration and then it's going to print that funky pattern that lets us set the K value and whatever the heck that is and then uh, I'll try some printing. Good old Ender 3. This baby's five years old, maybe a little more. We'll still get some use out of ya. Well, here's the K value printing. Let's see if we can get a look from up top. And then I guess we pick whichever is the best line and we plug that number in. Cool. Yeah, so this thing just started printing and this is my first print and I turned it up to sport. Uh, I'm not going to go ludicrous, but sport, holy hell. It was, uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing after watching good old uh, Ender 3 here at its 50, 60 millimeters a second. Thought I was cool getting it up to 80 at a lot of times, but uh, yeah, yeah, this is insane. A few moments later. I decided to print a test print that tests like overhangs and bridging and stuff like that just to see what this does. I haven't seen that anywhere else online so I figured what the heck, give it a whirl. And it says it'll be about an hour and 17 minutes which is crazy fast. This printer test is looking quite fantastic. I love how this um, software slows down uh, the print speed as you get to steeper overhangs. And also you can hear that it's pumping up the fan speed to it quicker, which is really helping with overhangs with no support. So this is quite an impressive machine straight out of the box. All done. And you know what the first thing I'm going to print after this is? A spool holder for the side because that spool holder in the back sucks. Other than that, love the rest of it. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Jeez, look at that overhang. 80 degrees. And the backside doesn't even look terrible. That is impressive. The point four nozzle, point four millimeter nozzle. Stringing is minor. Bridging is amazing. And unsupported overhangs up to 80 degrees are acceptable. Very cool. Next I'm going to try a clearance and tolerance test I found on printables.com uh, made by 3D Maker Noob I believe. Um, yeah let's see what it does. Alright here it is. Let's uh, See if we can get this off the print plate and uh, see what it'll do. Okay, so I got it off the build plate and I kind of did something stupid. When I was reading about these, I someone had mentioned that, oh, you should print it on a raft because you'll probably get elephant's foot and then it, uh, yeah then they won't move. Well, the raft is stuck to the bottom of this like you wouldn't believe. So, anyway, we can kind of take a look. If you look, this one moves freely. 0 0.3, 0 0.35, 0 0.25 moves good. 
0.2 moves, 0.15 moves, 0.1 is pretty solid. I think it would break loose, but yeah, so that's probably the tolerance. 0.15 is probably the tightest, so there you go. Yeah, so I wasn't too happy about messing up with that graft under the last one, so I reprinted it. Let's give it a whirl and see what it does. And I love these build plates. It's so awesome. Okay. Of course, you know, that one. That one goes fine. Point two works perfect. 0.15, a little tight, but it goes. Yeah, yeah. Point 0.1 is tight. But you fight. There. Just a little bit was stuck on it, but yeah. 0.15 would be the one that you'd go with if you didn't want any sticking. 0.2, yeah, somewhere in there. There you go. Now you know. Hope that answered some of your questions.